welcome to excel engineering education in this video we will discuss about moment distribution method whenever we want to solve any beam or frame using moment distribution method we must know what are the fixed end moments let us consider a fixed end beam having centrally point load the fixed end moments will be w l by 8 a beam having a eccentric point load the fixed end moment will be w a b square divided by l square and w b a square divided by l square whenever there is a fixed beam having a uniformly distributed load the fixed end moments will be w l square by 12 and w l square by 12 whenever a fixed beam having a uniformly varying load it will be w l square by 30 and w l square by 20 again there is one concept which is called as a stiffness a stiffness can be considered can be calculated with the help of what is the condition of far end of that particular beam when a far end of a beam is fixed then stiffness will be 4 e i by l and when a far end of beam is hinged then stiffness will be thrice e i by l there is another one concept which is called as a distribution factor a distribution factor is calculated at a joint and at joint the distribution factor should be one always remember that at a joint distribution factor should be one and the distribution factor can be calculated as k upon summation of k and that is stiffness of particular member divided by stiffness of a joint consider a problem a fixed end beam a continuous fixed end beam having three span first span this is a b this is c and d a b is a point load which is eccentric b c is the udl and c d is a centrally point load so let us first calculate whenever we want to solve a continuous beam using mdm method we need to consider it is a fixed separate member as a fixed that is a b b c c d fixed this is our assumption and then we need to calculate a fixed end moments let us calculate a fixed end moment for a b as it is eccentric eccentric therefore let us consider first value is anti clockwise that's why it will be minus 60 w a b square divided by l square that is nothing but 60 into 4 into 2 square divided by 6 square that is nothing but minus 26.67 kilonewton meter same as it is for mfba that is w w a square b divided by l square that is plus now one is anti clockwise another is a clockwise so it will be 60 into 4 square into 2 divided by 6 square that is nothing but 55.33 kilo newton meter let us consider next that is bc that is mfbc it is udl for udl we know that wl square by 12 so it will be minus 20 into 3 square divided by 12 that is nothing but minus 15 point 15 kilonewton meter for next that is a cb mfcb it is again a wl square by 12 as it is udl but now it will be a plus one that's why it is i will write down directly plus 15 kilonewton meter for mfcd which is a centrally point load it will be wl by 8 so minus 30 into 8 divided by 8 that is nothing but minus 30 kilonewton meter mfc dc now from dc it will be same as as it is a centrally point load it will be plus now plus 30 kilonewton meter so we are considering that for a fixed beam so a b is there then a is anti-clockwise and b is a clockwise moment for b c at b there is a clock anti-clockwise moment and for c b 
there is a clockwise movement isn't that concept anti clockwise clockwise anti clockwise clockwise we consider here plus minus plus minus plus minus for all span now next step is to calculate a distribution factor whenever we want to calculate a distribution factor we have to calculate a distribution factor at a joint when we see this beam there are two joints b and c so write down first how many joints are there there are two joint one is b another is a c joint so at b there are two members are meeting b a and b c so write down the member first is b a another is b c same as it is for c there are two members are connecting c b and c d so write down these members first is c b and another is a c d now k as per our rule k is nothing but a stiffness it has been calculated as when a far end of a beam is fixed it will be 4 ei by l and when far end of a beam is hinged it will be 3 ei 3 ei by l so what is the far end let us consider a span ba when we are considering ba a b is the starting point and a is a far end so when we consider it from b to a b is the starting point a is a far end which is away from that a is fixed now as it is fixed so we have to write down a stiffness for this particular member is 4 ei by l but here i is 1.5 therefore i am writing here 4e into 1.5i divided by l l is 6 meter so this is nothing but ei same as it is for bc for bc c is a here is a roller but in a continuous beam always remember that intermediate supports are fixed that's why it will be 4 ei by l i is i therefore it is 4 ei by l that is nothing but l is it's 3 meter and the final answer is 1.33 ei same as it is for cb it will be same that is 1.33 ei next is cd d is fixed now so that's why it is a 4 ei by l here i is 2i therefore 4e into twice i divided by l is Eight ultimately it is nothing but E I. So always remember that when far end is fixed, it is four E I by L. When far end is hinged, it is three E I by L. And always remember intermediate supports of a continuous beam are considered as a fixed. So in this beam B and C are intermediate support. That's why those are considered as a fix whenever we are calculating a distribution factor now it is summation of k means what addition of these two members stiffness ei plus 1.33 ei that is nothing but 2.33 ei an addition of this again it will be same that is 2.33 ei therefore distribution factor we know that a distribution factor can be calculated as uh, it is the ratio of k divided by summation of k so ei divided by 2.33 ei it will be 0.429 and for this bc it will be that is nothing but 1.33 divided by 2.33 it will be 0.571 same for this when we calculate it it will be the 0.571 and remaining 0.429 and when we add these two member stiffness it should be 1 so when we add 0.429 plus 0.571 will be 1 that means whatever distribution factor we calculated are correct now we want to distribute that moment our step number 3 says that distribution of moment so whenever we want to distribute let us write down the values as whatever the span we have that is this is a this is b this is c and this is d for that purpose now we have a distribution factors for b and c that is ba bc cb and cd let us consider let us see how to write ba is there for ba it is 0.429 for bc it is 0.571 for cb it is 0.571 for cd it is 0.429 now after this distribution moment we want to write down a fixed end moments of particular span members for ab it is minus 26.67 
for ba it is 55.33 for bc it is minus 15 for cb it is 15 and for cd it is minus 30 and at d it is 30 now we want to distribute the moments wherever we want to distribute the moments that is we can we uh, we can say it is a balancing of moment how to balance that moment whenever we want to balance the moment we need to do one thing we have to add the moments at a joint that means addition of 55.33 plus minus 15 if the addition is positive then next whenever we are writing any number will be the reverse sign and the addition whatever the addition of this 55.33 minus 55 should be multiplied by with 0 0.429 and we have to write down here again the addition of this we have to multiply with 0 0.571 and we have to write down here so when we add 55.33 minus 15 the answer will be plus because plus value is more and that means we have to write down the minus so those values will be 55.33 minus 15 whatever the addition is there you have to multiply it with 0 0.429 and we will get an answer as minus 16.44 and minus 21.89 addition of these two multiplied with 0 0.429 write down here addition of these two multiply with this write down here but remember that when the addition is positive write down negative sign and when addition is negative write down the positive sign so here your addition will be the negative then the remaining values will be the positive so 15 minus 15 will be minus 15 when we multiply minus 15 with 0 0.571 you will get an answer as 8.57 again when you multiplied by 15 with 0 0.429 it will be 6.43 after this calculation we need to transfer the moments always remember that we have to transfer the moment to the fix, fixed end fixed end of that particular uh, member if ba is considered a is fixed when bc is considered c is fixed as it is intermediate from cb is considered b is fixed it is intermediate c to d cd is considered d is your fixed support already it is a fixed that's why always remember that whenever we want to transfer a moment we have to transfer the half so half transfer here from b to a half will be transferred from b to c half will be transferred from c to b and half will be transferred from c to d these half values will be written will be as 16.44 divided by 2 it will be minus 8.22 20, minus 21.8 9 divided by 2 it will be minus 10.95 6.43 divided by 2 it will be 3.22 as it is we have to transfer we don't want to change any sign 8.457 divided by 2 it will be 4.29 so we'll get these values now next what to do now we have already the values now we are to multiply only 4.29 multiply with 0 0.429 we will get a value this is a plus value that's why next will be the minus one so 4.29 no need to do the calculations for these because we don't have any distribution factor for that we have distribution factor only at a joint not at the end therefore 4.29 multiplied by multiplied by 0 0.429 it will be minus 1.84 and 4.29 multiplied by with 0 0.571 it will be minus 2.45 same as it is minus 10.95 multiplied by 0 0.571 it will be 6.25 and minus 10.95 multiplied by with 0 0.429 it will be 4.70 now we balanced moment next is what we have to transfer the moments so as it is whatever we transferred half will be transferred from each to the fixed end so these values will be 1.87 it will be minus 0 0.92 2.425 divided by 2 it will be minus 1.23 6.25 divided by 2 it will be 3.13 4.70 divided by 2 it will be 2.35 now next 
they repeat the process what we done now here is a plus value remaining will next will be the minus so 3.13 multiplied by 0.429 it will be minus 1.34 3.12 3.13 multiplied by with 0.571 it will be minus 1.79 then minus 1.23 multiplied by with 0.571 it will be 0.2 70 it is minus that's why it is plus and again 1.23 multiplied by with 0.429 it will be 0.53 now next same we have to repeat the process that means we have to transfer a half moments to the each fixed end when we transfer it we will get exact answer that is nothing but now half will be minus 0.67 it will be now uh, 0.70 divided by 2 0.35 then uh, 1.29 1.79 divided by 2 it will be minus 0.90 and uh, 0.53 half will be transferred 0.27 now the process we need to repeat again until we will get the values in terms of 0.0 so next step is now 0.23 multiply with 0.429 it will be minus 0.15 0.35 multiply with 0.571 it will be minus 0.20 now 0.90 multiply with 0.571 it will be 0.51 0.90 multiply with 0.429 it will be 0.39 now next we have to transfer the half moments so half moment will be transferred to the each end each fixed end so ultimately we will get an answer as 0.15 divided by 2 that is minus 0.8 0.20 divided by 2 it is minus 0.1 0.51 divided by 2 it will be 0.26 0.39 divided by 2 it will be 0.20 now next the last is we got the answers into 0 point something but we'll do one process and then we will stop that is nothing but 0 0.26 multiply by with 0 0.429 and 0 0.26 multiply by 0 0.57 the same process we'll repeat we'll get an answer as 0 0.10 sorry 0 0.11 then minus 0 0.15 0 0.06 and 0 0.04 which completes the problem actually uh, which completes the problem uh, above one step now what we have to do we have to add all these values so that we need to confirm whether at the joints our moments are same or not plus and minus so when we add this we'll get an answer as we, from where we have to add we have to add from this point to this point that is from fixed end moment to the balancing so when we add this row or oh sorry add this column we will get a value as 36.56 this will be 33.45 this will be minus 33.45 this will be 17.91 minus 17.91 this will be 36.04 so ultimately at a joint our moments are equal now which can say we can say that our problem is completed now we have to last we have to draw a bending moment diagram always we need to draw at step 4 will be bmd whenever we want to draw a bending moment diagram just remember that draw a beam as it is whatever the beam we have this is our point a this is your point b this is our point c and this is our point d we already know that whatever the final end moments we know just we need to draw it here for a b we already know it is 36.56 for b a it is 33 point some 33.45 at c it is 17.91 and at d it is 36 point something now just we need to join this lines this is 36.04 this is 17.91 this is 33.45 this is 36.56 now next what we have to draw a pre-bmd diagram for each span separately we already know that it is a 
point load which is eccentric so moment will be w a b by l it will be a triangle having value is w a b by l it will be somewhat called as an w a b by l the value is 80 kilo newton meter for next fan it is udl it will be w l square by 8 and that value is 22.5 which will be again below so this can be write as w l square by 8 this is nothing but 22.5 and last it is a point load which is centrally that is nothing but w l by 4 so this will be at a center and the value is 60 something so this is w l by 4 the value is 60 kilo newton meter which completes your problem after drawing all these values and drawing the bending moment diagram let us solve a next problem it is a continuous beam which is a simply supported one ends are hinges these are roller all these supports are roller but still it is a continuous beam which is a indeterminate structure now we want to solve this beam using a moment distribution method as we know uh, first we have to consider each member separately as a fixed end we have to calculate a fixed end moments so for a b it is udl that's why it will be wl square by 12 so that value is will be 20 into 3 square divided by 12 that is nothing but minus 15 kilo newton meter next is ba same it will be plus 15 kilo newton meter bc it is centrally point load it will be wl by 8 so it will be minus 40 into 4 divided by 8 that is nothing but minus 20 kilo newton meter so it is again centrally from cb it will be plus 20 kilo newton meter cd it is a eccentric point load it will be wl wab square divided by l square and wa square b divided by l square first is cd w a b square divided by l square so it will be minus 40 into 3 into 2 square divided by 5 square ultimately it is minus 19.5 kilo newton meter next will be plus 40 into 3 square that is a square b divided by l square so phi square that is nothing but ultimately it will be 28.8 kilo newton meter after this fixed end moments we need to calculate a distribution factor when we see this beam there are two member two joints b and c so let us write down these two joints b c our b connects two members b a and b c that's why these member are b a b c our c connects c b and c d so it will be c b and c d now we want to calculate a distribution factor stiffness for the stiffness we know that if end supports are far supports are fixed it will be 4 ei by l and if far support is hinge it will be 3 ei by l when you consider this beam all supports are roller but there are two intermediate support those are b and c end support are a and d but as per our rule intermediate support are considered as a fixed one so end support will be as it is if it is a simply supported it will be a simply supported now consider a member b a a is far end and as per our rule end support will be as it is so it is roller so it will be roller and as per our rule if end support is far support is roller or hinge it will be 3 e i by l now it will be same as it is 3 e i by l and the answer l is 3 that's why it will be e i now b c c is intermediate support that's why we know that intermediate supports are fixed it will be 4 e i l is 4 ultimately this answer is e i now next c b b is intermediate support that's why it will be 4 e i by l that is nothing but e i itself and c d where d e will be roller as it is because it is end support that why it will be 3 e i by l is phi u 
ultimately this will be i is 2i so ultimately this will be here i is 2i therefore e into 2i divided by 5 it will be 0 0.6 ei now when we add this we will get twice ei and 1.6 ei now when we separately we calculate distribution factor that is ei divided by twice ei ei divided by twice ei ei divided by 1.6 ei 0.6 ei divided by 1.6 ei ultimately we will get answer as 0 0.5 0 0.5 0.625 and 0.375 when we add the distribution factor at a joint we'll get a value 1 so our problem is correct now next we want to distribute those moments for that we have to draw beam as it is a b c and d for b a distribution factor is 0.5 b c it is 0.5 for cb it is 0.625 cd it is 0.375 now we have to write down the fixed end moment these are ab minus 15 ba plus 15 bc is minus 20 cb it is plus 20 cd is minus 19.5 and DC it is 28.8 now what to do we already know that at the end at the end or at simply supported end other moments will be zero we have to convert that into the zero how we can convert here in the span our A and D are completely called as an these are the roller that means ultimately these are a simply supported so at a simply support end support will be zero so just we have to convert it to the zero how we can do if it is minus 15 if we add plus 15 now the addition will be the zero here also if we add minus 28.8 the addition will be zero now next what to do after this adding as our as per our rule we have to transfer half now we have to transfer half to the fixed it will be 7.5 again transfer half it will be i think that 28 divided by 2 will be minus 14.4 now what to do next we have to add all these values then we will get a final moments when we add it we will get a final moments as 0 15 plus 7.5 it will be 22.5 minus 20 will be as it is plus 20 will be as it is and addition of this will will get minus 33.6 and here is a 0 so always remember that whenever ends are simply supported we have to convert it to the 0 now the remaining the problem remaining problem will be same as we solved now what to do we have to add these two 22.5 minus 20 and multiply with the addition multiply with 0 0.5 0 0.5 22.5 minus 20 if we add with add with 0 0.5 the value will be addition will be plus because 22.5 is more that's why the if we multiply with 0 0.5 it will be minus 1.25 again it will be minus 1.25 similarly 20 plus 30 minus 33.5 addition is minus that's why the remaining will be the plus when we multiply addition of this multiply with 0 0.625 the answer will be 8.5 again addition of these two multiply with 0 0.7 0 0.375 it will be 5.1 now is there a need to transfer yes we can transfer but we cannot transfer from b to a and we cannot transfer from c to d because a and d are simply supported one but we can transform from b to c and c to b it is simple one so 1.5 divided by 2 and 8.7.5 divided by 2 will get answer it is 4.25 and the answer will be minus 0.63 now next iteration will be same as we done 4.25 multiply with 0.5 
4.25 multiply with 0.5 but this 4.25 is plus that's why the next value will be the minus 1 so the next will be 4.25 multiplied by 0.5 it will be minus 2.13 minus 2.13 0 0.63 multiply with 0 0.623 the answer will be plus 0 0.39 and 0 0.24 next is what we have to transfer a half half transfer from this side to this side so 2.13 divided by 2 it will be minus 1.06 and 1 point sorry 0 0.39 divided by 2 it will be almost equal to 0 0.20 now next what to do we have to repeat the process until we will get an answer in 0 point something so 0 0.20 divided by 2 0 0.20 uh, multiplied by 0 0.5 will get answer now it is almost 0 point something so minus 0 0.1 this is minus 0 0.1 0 0.20 multiplied by with 0 0.5 and minus 1.06 multiply with 0 0.625 the answer will be 0 0.66 and 0 0.40 which completes almost our problem now we can add all these values but from where after the balancing the moment to the zero so this value is itself zero this value is itself zero now addition of this from 22.5 to minus 0 0.1 it will be 19.02 addition from minus 22 minus 0 0.1 it will be uh, minus 19.02 addition from 22 0 0.66 it will be 27.86 and minus 0 0.33.62 0 0.40 it will be 27.86 almost our answers are close to uh, each other that's why which completes the moment distribution our last step that is step number four is nothing but bending moment diagram whenever we want to draw a bending moment diagram what we have to do we have to draw a beam as it is this is our point A, this is our point B, this is our point C, this is our point D. At A it is 0 but at B it is something as 19.02. Always we have to draw up because either you consider plus or minus. It will be minor, it will be plus I think 27.86. Now we have to join these lines. It will be final moments after the distribution, distributing the moments. Now next is what? We have to draw a pre-body diagram, pre-bending moment diagram. That is first is UDL. That why it will be WL square by 8. That is nothing. The answer will be 22.7. This is WL square by 8. That is nothing but 22.5. You multiply it. I am writing in the formula pattern. Center, then second span is centrally point load. That will be WL by 4. The answer is 40. This is WL by 4 and the last is eccentric loading that's why it will be WAB by L the answer is 48 so it will be more than this so when we add this we will get this when we draw this we will get the answer this is WAB by L which is 48 and uh, this is 40 so which completes the bending moment diagram for this beam. Let us consider next problem which is a propped cantilever a continuous having a, a fixed B is a roller C is a roller and there is one cantilever part CD but in this problem a support B is yield by 9 mm that is there is a sinking and whenever there is a sinking always remember that if this is a span A B and C if our B support sink by something so it will be deflect in this way. So always remember that whenever there is a sinking, if B support is sink, then left to the B, we have to add 6 EI delta divided by L square. That is L1 square. This is L1 and this is L2. We have to minus, sorry, we have to minus 6 EI delta divided by L1 square from that particular fixed end moment that is this is the minus and for bc 
we have to add 6 ei delta divided by l square into the fixed end moment just we have to minus and we have to add 6 ei delta divided by l square on the same pattern now we will solve the problem so let us consider this is yielding by 9 mm that is mm when we convert into the meter it will be uh, 0.009 so first calculate mfab mfab this is the eccentric loading that is wab square divided by l square so it will be minus 60 into a is 2 into 1 square divided by 3 square now as for this formula we have to minus 6 ei delta divided by l square that means left to the sinking we have to minus right to the sinking sinking we have to add 6 ei delta divided by l square so i am ready uh, subtracting 6 ei delta ei itself it is 1 into 10 raised to 12 so 1 into 10 raised to 12 it is in a newton when we convert into the kilonewton it will be 1 into 10 raised to 3 kilonewton meter square so ultimately our value will be 6 into 1000 into 0 0.009 divided by 3 square L square L1 L1 this is L1 and for this pan B is pinking therefore L1 is 3 3 square ultimately we will get answer as minus 19.33 kilonewton meter same as it is for BA it will be 60 into 2 square into 1 divided by 3 square that is w a square b divided by l square minus 6 into 1000 into 0 0.009 divided by l that is 3 square ultimately we will get answer that is 20.67 kilonewton meter now for bc we have to add 6 ei delta divided by l square so bc is a udl that's why w l square by 12 so it will be minus 20 into 6 square divided by 12 plus 6 into 1000 into 0 0.009 divided by length is now 6 meter therefore it is 6 square ultimately the answer is minus 58.5 kilo newton meter now next we have to add ultimately cb cb is a plus 20 into 6 square divided by 12 plus 6 into 1000 into 0 0.009 divided by 6 square ultimately this answer is nothing but 61.5 kilo newton meter and cd it is a nothing but a cantilever moment and it is a claw it is something like an uh, we are considering it is a negative value so minus 20 into 1 ultimately it is a minus 20 kilonewton meter so this is all about a fixed end moment for this particular continuous beam with the sinking of support now we have to do a distribution factors whenever we want to distribute the factors there are joints yes how many joints are there b and c two joints are there for b their members ba and uh, bc for the next cb and c there is no any member itself it is but still we can write down cd it is not a member we consider it is in a cantilever but still it is there that's why we are considering so ultimately we'll get a value ba a is fixed that's why it is 4 e i i itself i divided by l is 3 so ultimately it is 1.33 e i the next is uh, b to c c is now roller that's why it is end far support is roller or hinge simply support it is a thrice of e i by l therefore thrice e i by l is 6 now so ultimately it is 0 0.5 e i and the next is c b b is a intermediate support that's why it is fixed so 4 e i by l l is 6 so ultimately this is 0 and this will be 4 e i by 6 ultimately we have the values 
and the addition of this is nothing but 1.833 the distribution factor will be dividing 1.33 divided by 1.833 ei so ultimately we will get 0 0.7 27 0.273 and this will be 1 1 and this is 0 now we have to solve this problem or we have to distribute these moments how many span if we consider a span it is a this is b this is a c and ultimately this is d The distribution factors are for B A it is uh, 0 0.727, B C 0 0.273, for C B it is 1, for C D it is 0. Now when we consider fixed end moments these are minus 19.33, B A it is uh, 20.67 bc it is minus 58.5 cb it is 61.5 cd it is somewhat minus 20 and dc there is no any chance so it will be ultimately zero but our c point is nothing but a simply supported that's why we have to balance something how we can balance just first balance that part and then we can continue balance is means miss what 61.5 minus 20 it is nothing but 45 something if you 41.5 addition of this this is 41.5 if you multiply with 1 it will be minus 41.5 but here it is 0 itself it will be 0 now ultimately we are going to balance if it is a minus 20 and here is a plus 20 then we balanced that formula so just add these values and we will get a final moment when we add these values uh, we'll get minus 19.33 this is something which is will be same minus 19.33 this is 20.67 this is minus 58.5 and when we add it we will get a uh, and ultimately we need to transfer a half also transfer half to this side so it will be minus 20.75 so if we add it it will be minus 79.25 this is 79.25 i will correct it so when we add it after the transferring half to this end it will be minus 19.33 it is 20.67 when we add minus 58 minus 20.75 it will be minus 79.25 now only these three values are there nothing is there because we transferred here nothing is remaining but for the calculation we can add that part so uh, addition of these two multiply with this that is 20.67 minus 79.25 addition of these two multiply with 0 0.727 will get an answer as 42.58 and if we multiply with 0 0.273 it will be 15.99 now as per the rule we have to transfer half to this side so we will get an answer as 42.58 divided by 2 it will be 21.2 29 which completes the problem because nothing is remaining there that's why just add all these values from where we will add from below this line we will add and here also we will add something because this is ultimately final but for this first we will write down here this is 0 this is minus 20 how it is balanced just check if it is minus 20 and just if you add it 61.5 minus 41.5 it will be plus 20 so it is balanced now there is no any problem now we have to add minus 79.25 plus 55.99 it will be minus 63.25 and 20.67 plus 42.58 ultimately the answer is 63.25 plus and 19.33 plus 21.29 it will be 1. 96 ultimately 
we completed this problem because no any value remains there and our answers are correct then our last step is step number 4 where we have to draw a bending moment diagram whenever we want to draw a bending moment diagram just we have to draw a basic line that is beam which is value a b c and d for a it is 1.96 for b it is 63.25 for C it is 20 and for D it is 0. So ultimately just we have to join these lines. This is all about fixed end. Now free end for free end AB is uh, eccentrically point load. That's why it is WAB by L. The answer is 4T. That's why it will be a triangle. This is WAB by L which is answer is 40 bc it is a udl that's why wl square by 8 the answer is 90 this is something will be a udl it will be wl square by 8 ultimately the answer is 90 and for cd nothing is there it is just there is no any loading it is a cantilever which completes our bending moment diagram for this beam so in this video we discussed about basics of uh, uh, mdm then uh, a fixed end mom fixed end problem then a simply supported continuous beam problem and the last third problem is nothing but a sinking of support problem we discussed in this video so uh, which completes our mdm beam thank you kindly like share subscribe excel engineering education thank you thank you for watching